Higher commuter train fares resume next week. Uh, not all bad news, though. There are some discount fares coming, too. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan tells us what the Long Island Railroad is doing to avoid any surprises for rush hour commuters. Changes in the costs of LIRR tickets are kicking in, but riders seem unaware. I never heard about it. First time I take the railroad every day. <laughs> Did you know about it? Not at all. Commuter railroads are set to resume charging higher fares during peak travel times beginning March 1st. For the past two years during COVID, peak fares were canceled, something Shamar Hamilton said saved him. What will that do to your pocketbook? <laughs> well, I'm in college right now. Although peak fares are back, the LIRR is offering some new money saving plans. A 20 trip ticket discounted 20%. Monthly passes, unlimited rides, 10% savings. I'm very grateful that the senior pass hasn't gone up. I'm kind of confused on why they chose to do it now. Ticket discounts now attempting to boost lagging ridership. Uh, we did add trains in January, um, but again, we're still at that 45-47% of ridership. So until those numbers come up, um, we, we can't add more trains. Commuters say if they're paying more during rush hour, it's unfair to feel like sardines. Shoulder to shoulder, packed with a bunch of other people. People are concerned. You know, they're they're worried about getting back on trains, they're worried back about getting back on transit. The Commuter Council is advising riders to use the LIRR app to find the least crowded cars. Many refuse the middle seat. Commuter rail riders want the MTA safety push expanded to them. February 16th, a 20-year-old West Babylon man was shot and killed aboard an LIRR train in Ronkonkoma. I don't like standing on the platforms. Are you concerned about a push? I'll push, certainly, of course. I'm always watching my back. Asking for increased patrols on platforms and in trains. I'm Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.